right, it's Lee from Splatter Plastic, and just got a little bit of an unboxing. Something that I've been waiting on for a while. It's dead weird because they didn't get a tracking delivery. And then I just got a random little customs charge thing through the mail. Paid that. And I've been waiting for like two weeks for it. And then I've just got in from work about an hour ago. Hence me looking knackered. And um little doorbell went and it come. So kind of split the top on it. But you can see the size of that box, man. It's amazing. So let's get it open. Oh, I can see it. Awesome, man. Absolutely awesome. So, obviously, it's Mondo Hellbound, Hellraiser 2. With. Oh, the big box set. I haven't took the cellophane off yet, so you might be getting a bit of cabal of grip. If you're there, if you're there, I'm really sorry. We're trying to get some stills up on it. So, let's get this open. So, you know what I'm like with the. Uh, Open it up cellophane and what have you, so fingers everywhere to give us a minute. So I've been reading a lot online about um, this box being a bit flimsy in comparison to the uh, the Halloween one. And honestly, I've got it in grey a little bit. Big massive cut. So it is a little bit just like really flimsy paper. But you know what? It's a box set. It's really nice. It's got the Hellraiser, the Hellraiser box of pleasures on the side of it. Um, really nice artwork. Matt Ryan Tobin, if if I think I'm right. Yeah, Matt Ryan Tobin's on the same artwork for the Hellraiser one. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm not really into that, personally. You know what I mean? But what are you going to do? I never got the job. Yeah, so that's the box. Okay, Hellraiser 3. Let's open this one up first. So obviously it's Mondo, so obviously we've got all the Obi strips and what have you. I'll tell you what's coming soon. As soon as I get this open and have a proper little Man, that works so much like. That is some. So, Mondo, coming soon is Halloween 6 and Freddy vs. Jason again. I feel like I've been seeing Freddy vs. Jason on everything since I can't remember when. But really nice little little bit of a, an Obi strip there. Look at that artwork. That is awesome, man. So cool. So it's done in the same style as Hellraiser. Who's that dude on the back? Oh man, look at that. It's Pinhead before he changed. It was uh, Elliot Spencer. Cool one. Let's get it open. I'll show you the vinyls for all these in two seconds. So I just want to... So again, all the insides has got uh, all the flayed flesh in a gay fold. Jesus wet. Actually, it wasn't Jesus wet in Hellraiser 3, what was it? I can't remember. But it was that bit where he pulls out the uh, the thing out of his head and then pierces his hands with it. Hellraiser 3 for me wasn't the best of the Hellraiser movies. I think it was, uh, it was the worst of the first trilogy and then it just went on to be a little bit of a franchise but the first two are phenomenal so you know, melt the crucifix we grab the crucifix and then just some liner notes on the back so hellraiser 3 vinyl now on the mondo wax group i don't know if anyone like pays attention to me and whatever but i was freaking out when this went on sale because i didn't know it was a double album i was like oh my god i want the blue one i want the blue one i want the red one for hellraiser so i didn't realize they were double lps so what have we got here? Side. It's oh, nice, that one. Side C and D. Leviathan Blue. With a really nice inner label. If you're going to see that. Obviously, we're going to do full episodes on these, so uh, I'm not going too much into it. Uh, a and B. Ah! like a red marble oh, man. <laughs> and label on that one it's a little CD there's a centibite in it took CDs out of it and that's why personally why I didn't like it because they stopped being like sadomasochistic stuff and started being like CD head and barbed wire head and just heads of everything but 
So that's Hellraiser 3. Let's get into Hellraiser 2. Now, Hellraiser 2 is my favourite of all the Hellraiser movies. I just thought they brought the mythology on so well. And when they, uh, they get to hell and like see Leviathan and stuff like that. Unbelievable, man. So, again, Obi Strip. See if there's anything different on this. Wonder if it'll say Freddy vs. Jason again. <laughs> so Freddy vs Jason as well as Halloween 6 and The Lodge I don't know what The Lodge is to be honest with you Obviously I know what Halloween 6 is, the case of Michael Myers But I don't know what The Lodge is Let's have a little look onto that Probably some crazy 70s cult exploitation movie or something Yeah again Matt Ryan artwork which is Gold man Look at that that is amazing. It's going to throw me a OCD into a little bit of a tantrum though because the two last images on the Hellraiser and Hellraiser 3 are just a pinhead in like that blue light. So this is all red with Julia, so I'm going to be like, ah! So I'll get this one out, show the vinyl in two seconds. Oh man, that's so cool. Let's have a look at the gay fold first. So back cover, just obviously more air. Uh, more bandages, so if you don't put it off, all the bandages are going to be coming off Julia's head. Pretty much the same as in Hellraiser, make sure there's nothing else in there. Nope. So, as I said, one of my favourite bits in this Hail Leviathan. My god. Ah, oh, so cool. So, this is. Side. Side A and B. Really, it's horrible that man. It's like a, uh, it's like pus, man. Like blood pus. Ugh, it's horrible. And kind of little noggin in the in the the inner label. That makes me feel a little man. Ugh, it's horrible. It's like milky, blood and milk. Ugh. I haven't got a pink a pink final yet though. So <laughs> there's a new one for me. So. I am in hell, help me. Iconic scene in the movie, absolutely fantastic. And then liner notes on the back of it. Get a little read of that. And C and D is, that's nice. Oh, look at that, it's like a blue smoke. That's so cool. And B side liner note is the puzzle box in like a little jigsaw puzzle. So it's Tiffany's like obsessed with doing puzzles in Hellraiser 2 and Shannard gives her the box and she opens it and everything. I think that's a really nice touch by uh, by the artist that's on that. So just a little quick, very quick unboxing because we're definitely doing full episodes on both of these movies. Amazing. Again, box set's a little bit flimsy, but you know what? Fine. It, it was free, essentially. Um, Again... Tim Man's being very, very adult and, uh, and buying houses and stuff. So I don't know if you if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. He posted up a picture of all of his records in little boxes the other day. So we're on a little tiny bit of a hiatus. Our next episode's going to be Evil Dead. So we're going to try and get that done as soon as possible. Might not be before Christmas. Might be the first one of 2020. Because let's be honest, we're not going anywhere. So yeah, just a little unboxing for um, the Hellraiser box that Mondo has just put out. And if you can, get it, because it's awesome, man. Okay, that's it. We don't see us before. Have a happy new year. Merry Christmas and all that shenanigans. I hope the vinyl gods look look well on you and get you loads of cool records for Christmas and other stuff. If you want to post up your collections, tag us in it, man. And uh, we love seeing all that shit. So, anyway, happy new year. Merry Christmas. SP. Out.